Leo, welcome. It's Jeff here at Raise Your Vibration TV, and that means it's time for your weekly tarot reading. This tarot reading is going to be for September 23rd all the way to September 29th, so welcome all my fellow kings and queens. How y'all doing? Doing all right. Doing okay. <laughs> Man, I'm going to tell you something. You know, I I basically share everything with you guys. So, I, I, you know, it's just the way I am. If you want to call it oversharing, fine. Don't watch. Don't watch. But um, that's the way I am. I'll share with what I'm going through. And I don't know about you guys, but it's been a little rough these last couple of weeks. And and it, and it's not so much circumstances. It's the way I'm reacting to circumstances that normally, normally is just a brush off the shoulder. And for some reason, it seems like this energy is really having me look at how I react to things, positive or negative. And I don't know, it, it's almost like, I, I, it seems like I'm I'm going through a lot of childhood issues. You know what I mean? Like things that in my upbringing, and I mean, my upbringing was great. I mean, I'm not going to lie. I mean, I, I, I had a great upbringing. I had a great childhood. However, there are some residual factors that I'm dealing with now at 55 that I didn't realize were there. So it's bringing a lot of things up to the surface. This energy really is, especially I'm feeling it for a Leo, Leo sun, Pisces moon and Scorpio rising. I mean, I'm feeling it, man. You know what I mean? Um, and I and I hope if you are going through this, that I hope that you are healing in the process, because this is what it's all about, folks. This is what it's all about. And, you know, who heals the healer? That's. That's kind of like what I'm going through and it can put you in a victim mentality and all of that. And I apologize in advance <laughs> to all the people that I, that I kind of miscommunicated and all of that. It's, it's just, you know, it's growing pains, but I welcome it because it makes me a better person. All right. So we, like I said, we've been in this whirlwind of different shifting energies this whole month and this week, after all the the drama of everything, the dust kind of settles a little bit so we can regain ourselves. The only thing astrologically nerth, worth noting is, uh, did you hear me say nerth? Uh, Mercury, the planet of communication, is moving into, Gem uh, not Gemini, Libra. So it's Libra season. Things will be a little bit more balanced. We want to strive for balance in our communications. We want justice. We want to be able to speak our truth, you know, and Libra kind of has us balance out the scales a little bit. Okay. So let's get the energy for the week. Yeah. I mean, I've been going through it. I mean, I'm, and then another thing is, is, you know, does it, do I really need to be dramatic? And the things that, again, it comes down to the way I'm reacting to things. You know, there's a, there's a drama. There's an actor inside of me that wants to be like, oh, I just can't believe that they did. Their, you know, it's like, well, can you, you know, you kind of, you know how people are, you know, I have an uncanny ability of seeing right through people's bullshit, you know, and, uh, well, <laughs> you know. All right, so all these cards are down except for this one, the tower. Okay, so y'all feeling that, definitely. Mm, mm-hmm, yeah. So this energy has got us twisted. We don't, we, can't, we don't know which way to go. We really don't. Five of Cups has got us sitting in this Bella Swan energy. Shoulda, woulda, coulda. You know what I'm saying? It's we got the four of swords where it's like we got to put this to rest. And some of you may need rest. You know? And then we have the knight of cups bringing in an offer. It's time to let things go. You know what I'm saying? Like this 
this is this is energy that's got us twisted and it's time to let it go i mean that's it because we're sitting in this energy yeah that's i want to say that which leaves us with the two of swords we got to decide put it to rest and move forward and play this game the proper way you know or sit in this it's a choice what are you going to do all right, let's get some oracles. Let's get some, let's shed some more light on this. I'm going to tell you something. I was feeling this yesterday. Like, you know, what is it? The, it's the 18th. On the 17th, I was, I was feeling this energy completely. <laughs> you know. But this is, you know, just sitting in this. Why? You know, that's that's the thing. Why do this? Why do this? Why let these things, these necessary changes, why are we fighting it? When clearly other ways were not benefiting us. You know what I mean? And look at this. In truly old fashion, you take your power back over the situation. You empower yourself with this. You focus on victory and fulfillment of wishes and the Ace of Pentacles prosperity begins. It's time to make a decision here. You're going to let this stuff get you down or are you going to see? This is an excellent opportunity to seize your moment. It's almost like, you know, there's a vacuum here. And you need to close that off. You know what I mean? Like, it's just sitting in some shit energy. And you don't need to do that. These things are necessary. Which will bring a, a lot more opportunity than you are led to believe. And that's your thoughts not serving you well. Wow. All you have to do is go with the flow. That's the that's the uh, wheel of fortune there. Simply love, six of cups, being around good people. Look at that. And the lovers. Look at what happens when you open up. All of this cancels out really fast. Let's look at love here because we got some indications. The knight of cups. Hmm. Has a relationship got you twisted? Has relationships got you reassessing everything? Hmm. Yeah. It's an end to all of this feeling this way. This is what's stopping this from actually coming in. It, you know, there is a huge focus here with the hero fan and temperance on have faith, have faith. Don't let your thoughts blind you. Don't look at this as endings. Look at this as new beginnings. King of swords, Aquarius energy. You know, you, you gotta, you gotta cut, you gotta speak your truth. You gotta, you gotta take the initiative to move forward and speak it. Instead of just not. And playing your cards right. You know what I mean? Like having faith that this too shall pass. And there's something, you know, again, an overtone of relationship. Of course, because we're talking about it. Awakening. Someone is undergoing a spiritual transformation. That's you, Leo. That's you. Interference, an external party is intruding on this relationship. You know, maybe there is. Maybe there is another energy that you're involved with that is kind of stagnating this. You know what I mean? Or maybe somebody's just getting in on your business. And that's where you have to decide, well, am I going to let, am I going to let these people continue to tell me what to do when you know what to do? It just makes you more blind to your decisions. Release, radical acceptance, and surrender can help you let go. That's the key for this week. Radical acceptance of the things that have happened. 
and surrender to just go with the flow and simply be your energy, love. That's it. Sometimes it's hard for us Leos to, to keep on keeping on. You know what I mean? It wears us down sometimes. And I think this is a point where, you know, it's you are in an excellent opportunity to gain your power back from this situation. All right, let's get some closing messages. Lighten up. You're being asked to remember that life doesn't always have to be so serious. Yes, there are hard things happening. No, it's not always easy to be here, but you can always find time to laugh, be silly, and have fun. It's so important that you do. See, this radical acceptance and surrender will help you lighten up because you're being too bogged down and you, by your reactions of things when you can actually use this as an empowering moment to take your power back. Believe. You're being asked to fully believe in yourself and your dreams. Pay attention, Leo. It's time that idea that's lived inside your heart to be brought into the world so others can benefit from it. Believe that you can bring it to life and you will do exactly that. There is a huge message about believing in yourself and keep on keeping on and have fun while you're doing it because a serious Leo is a scary Leo. It really is. I scare the shit out of people when I'm fucking in my mood. I literally scare the shit out of people. I don't mean to. But when I'm in a mood, people avoid me like the plague, including clients and customers. So I've got, always got to be in the flow and be in my power or else my business doesn't thrive. My relationships don't thrive and I don't thrive. But if I am empowered and it's not overlooking the problems because I'm deep in them. I'm deep, I'm working through them. But the, the, the realization of all this is that life doesn't have to be so goddamn serious, you know? So with that being said, believe, go with the flow and just be love. All right, Leo, that's going to do it for this week. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe. Put I believe in the comments. Don't forget, I've got personal readings available. I've got options, and I am getting booked up. Get yours before the new year happens, really, because I'm really excited about all these offers I'm getting. I'm going to be busy, 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 and so can you. So go ahead and click that option in the description. Don't forget the freaking weekends posted on Wednesdays for you to get that vibe for the weekend and see how this progresses. All right, Leo, I love you so much, and I will see you on Wednesday.